Hello, in this video I'd like to show you some of the features of our Asset Management for SharePoint program. This program has many features of reporting, dashboard, asset list, vendor list, tasks, manuals, warranties, purchase orders. It can tie into the IT help desk. It can link to outside databases such as network discovery tools. I'd like to show you right now the asset item itself. So I'll cover some of the features of the program. Uh, for a full in-depth view, uh, you can ask us for a live demo. We'd be glad to show you uh, the program and answer any questions. In this uh, item that comes up, the Dell Inspiring Laptop, you can see that there's tabs and fields on the tabs. These are highly configurable by you through utilities we provide. You can use it as is or manipulate it to be uh, the way you want for your particular assets or equipment that you're that you're um, needing to keep track of. In this case, there's asset info with status, ID, title, category, description, make, models, service tag, barcode, asset info link to link out to an outside database or network discovery tool like Landsweeper or SCCM or Dell Case or other ones. Contract service date, uh, we have an alerting function up here that can say when the service date is coming due, uh, send out a notice to whoever appropriate appropriate party is and then um, they will know to uh, renew that contract or seek approval for renewal. I can link out to Dell warranty sites or other vendors and find uh, information directly from their site through the APIs they provide from our program to theirs to show you the uh, status of the warranty or the contract that they're under. Uh, there, there's location and owner, uh, meaning who it's uh, deployed to, where, what department, who was to be for, uh, deployed to previously. We also have a check-in, check-out feature that is not shown here, but what that does is give you a running record of all the check-out and check-in that's gone on, the history of that for that asset, and to who was checked out to, for how long, uh, what purpose it was, when it's due back in, that, that kind of information will all be recorded on that check-in and check-out um, records. History and finance, this is an invoice when it's acquired, purchase, depreciation, depends how involved you want to get with this financial information, but one value of this is that when it will tell you when the asset is near the end of its um, value of its, uh, and then it maybe needs to be replaced rather than repaired. Vendor info links out to the supplier and vendor information telling you about uh, contacts and uh, support sites, images, uh, an image of it. Tickets, which is, this is this one links to our IT help desk showing all the problems and issues that have occurred of this asset. You can also link off to tasks, maintenance tasks and things that have a list of that in there. So the asset will have a full record of any help desk tickets or maintenance tasks or other work that's been done on it. Also entries can be put right into the work log. Um, you also see down below there are manuals and warranties. It could be purchase orders and other documentation associated with this particular asset, even contractual information. We have an alerting function up here that that will allow you to set up alerts, like I said, on the contract service date, but also could be on a maintenance due date or other time period when uh, some action needs to be taken regarding this asset. You can print out the asset, either the full list or this particular asset. You can de design these templates. And you can also print out QR codes and uh, barcodes for the, this particular uh, piece of equipment and um, or print the asset itself when, the, like I said, there's highly configurable uh, templates here that you can set up to be the way you want. Now, there's many, many utilities and features underlying this asset program uh, and what drives it, all the capabilities of it, and we'd be glad to show you those. Uh, this video is meant to be more... Uh, on the on the surface and under the covers, but we can definitely show you that in a demo or other other uh, time. Uh, anything you any answer any questions you might have. There's a report center. There's a dashboard. The dashboard shows graphical Im Im information about the uh, list of assets and uh, by category, by vendor. However, you want to set these up, you get a lot of uh, insight into what's being done. Also, you can put in maintenance due and and uh, assets that are nearing the end of their life cycle and other such information. So this is a brief overview of our asset program. We'd be glad to show you much more in a live demo. You can contact us, sales at crowcanyon.com or 1-888-706-0070. Thank you.